In-house, we have expertise in virtually everything that's related to developing and operating a charter school. On our website, we have a rich array of content. They can come to one place, it's a kind of one-stop shopping, um, that they'll get accurate, timely, up-to-date information that they can rely on. CCSA uh, runs a 24-hour help desk. We answer, oh, somewhere between 1,500 to 2,000 inquiries, emails, voicemails um, on an annual basis, and we probably turn around more than 90% of them within 24 hours. They uh, are networked with all the experts uh, up and down the state, uh, particularly in Sacramento, in helping to make sure that we can get that information to schools, and, and that's one of the key ways that we save schools time and money, and that they don't have to Im Im Employ, uh, additional consultants. The California Charter Schools Conference offers over 150 breakout sessions on everything from finance to facilities to human resources to curriculum. The range of topics that anyone who works at a charter school is concerned about or supports a charter school is concerned about. And charter school professionals should attend the annual charter schools conference because they can attend those breakouts and develop strategies that they can take back to their school to make them more effective in their jobs. We offer free webinars and workshops for our members. We've given uh, hundreds of online free workshops on a variety of topics, um, you know, budget and management, uh, governance, um, uh, uh, teacher credentials, basically any kind of subject that's related to operating a charter school. Uh, we can offer resources or samples or workshops or trainings on. Teachers have very rich benefits, and to get rich benefits takes money. Well, back in 2004, um, charter schools had a difficult time uh, obtaining insurance coverages on their own through commercial insurance carriers. Through the JPA, members are able to get significant cost savings, broader coverages, higher limits, and rate stability over time. We took the demographic of our charter school population, our teachers, and essentially went to the carriers and said, look, this is our demographic and this is what we want to do. We want to offer benefits to our teachers just as they would get as if they were um, part of uh, a collectively bargained group. Charter Employee Services is a program developed by CCSA to ensure that charter school employees have access to the same employee benefits that employees have in, tr in the traditional school system. Professionals in lots of professions have the insurance that they need. You know, nurses have professional liability insurance, doctors have professional liability insurance, lawyers, um, and charter school teachers and charter school employees are professionals and they should have the protection that they need and that's really what Charter Employee Services provides to them. Charter schools, it, it, because they can be viewed as more risky, you know, it, they don't have any collateral or they, they don't have reserve, they don't have uh, a lot of years of history. So oftentimes the, in, when they're going out into the traditional market, uh, the financing can be very expensive. With the California Charter Building Fund, uh, we can provide uh, more reasonably priced capital uh, that then can be found on the market uh, to help our charter schools uh, either acquire uh, a new facility, um, uh, purchase new land, or, or renovate a facility, so it's, it's very flexible. The growth loan uh, is, maybe it, it sounds like what it is. It really helps schools grow. It helps uh, when schools want to increase their enrollment. Uh, there's a funny thing here in California where in, if a school is growing, it, their new enrollment is not recognized until the second half of the year. So, for example, uh, if a school has, uh, in one year, has 100 students, the next year it doubles to 200 students. Uh, all the way until February, uh, it's financed on 100 students. So, you know, where do you make up that type of uh, operational funding gap? So that's where the, the growth loan comes in. The growth loan uh, can provide that bridge financing um, at, at reasonable rates again. Uh, the CCSA goes out to the uh, external market working with uh, CDFIs to provide the, the right type of financing at the right price, uh, again, to help schools grow.